In CVP analysis, we're going to have to distinguish between fixed costs and variable costs. So we'll say the cost of the business can be broken into two groups. We have the fixed costs, the costs that don't vary with the level of sales made. We've also got the variable costs. They are costs of the business that do vary with the level of sales made. So to demonstrate the difference, let's use an example. Mike's Bikes manufactures bicycles and has the following costs associated in running its business. The cost of the metal frame of each bike is $100. The rent of the factory to make the bikes is $2,500 per month. The tires are $40 per bike. The gears are $160 per bike. The utilities, so the gas, electricity, etc., uh, is $500 per month. And the wages are $3,000 per month. So some of these costs will vary based on how many bikes we sell and some will not. So to demonstrate that, let's look at two costs. Let's look at the metal frame for $100 per bike and the rent of the factory at $2,500 per month. So we can look at the bottom here and say, well, for each bike we produce and sell this month from zero all the way up to 10, how much are these costs? So if we make zero bikes, the metal frame cost is zero because it's $100 per bike, zero bikes, zero cost. The rent of the factory though, we're going to have to cop that one. No matter, even if we don't make one single bike, it's going to be $2,500. Now, if we make one bike, uh, that's going to be a metal frame cost of $100, but the rent will still stay at $2,500. It's fixed. It's not going to change. It's constant. If we make two bikes, the metal frames cost will be $200, $100 for two bikes, but the rent will stay the same and so on for the rest of the month. So we can see the variable cost here is a metal frame. It's gonna go up based on how many units we produce and sell, but the rent of the factory won't change. We can make zero units, we can make a million units. It's gonna be $2,500 um, for the whole month regardless. So based on that now, we can break the cost of this business into two groups, the fixed costs and the variable costs. So let's start with the metal frame. That's $100 per bike. So that's gonna be a variable cost. The rent, that's a flat fee or cost per month. So that won't vary based on how many units we produce or sell. So that's gonna be a fixed cost. The tires, $40 per bike will be a variable cost. The gears, $160 per bike will be a variable cost. The utilities is per month. So it's not gonna change no matter how many bikes we make. So it's a fixed cost. And lastly, the wages of $3,000, that's based not based on how many bikes are produced, that's just a flat uh, wage or salary each month. So that's going to go over there. And what we'll end up with is the total fixed costs per month are $6,000. We're going to cop those no matter how many bikes we make. And the variable costs are $300 per bike. And they're going to go up and down based on how many bikes we produce and sell this month.